Alright guys, how's it going? Uh, while I wait for a, one more shooter to come before I film my shooter pickup video, I thought I'd just make another quick video. And it's my first community question. Like all community questions, this one's probably already been asked many times before. But how it came about was a very brief comment conversation with Mr. Stella Boxhead himself, Dan Walshock. He'd. Well, I can't remember how it came about, but we were briefly talking about Treasure, the developer Treasure. And he said that uh, how met, met a lot of people assume Treasure has been huge for years. And that there used to be quite a cult developer, not a lot of people knew about them. And it's only in recent years that they became sort of notorious uh, as a fantastic developer. Uh, which is true. It's a, a, a true statement, that. But that actually got me thinking. Uh, it's something I've been thinking in the past few days about, and it's actually about developers. And uh, although that is true of Treasure, it, got me, it did get me thinking th that how many other developers have sort of been... I mean, like, nowadays everyone knows, like Rockstar for instance is as big a brand name as Pepsi. Pepsi and Coca-Cola and things, everybody knows who Rockstar is. Everybody knows that they make the Grand Theft Auto, even people that are not into gaming. But back in the day, to be honest, I never really paid much attention to developers. Uh, around the Saturn era, it was more publishers like Activision and things like that I knew. But before that, I, to be honest, I didn't really know sort of many developers. Uh, so my question really is, when did you start to pay attention to developers? Uh, was there a particular era? I know a lot of older guys who were into the Commodore 64 and that. They might uh, be more aware of developers back then. I know I, when I had a Commodore 64, Ocean were kind of... I suppose Ocean's really more a publisher, although they did sort of develop independently. But I was, ki I was kind of aware of Ocean as a brand. Uh, I do remember recognising the Ocean symbol on CD, on cassette boxes. But I can't really say I paid much attention to them. I would say my first sort of mainstream developer would be Shiny Entertainment. Uh, I really enjoyed Chinese games. I enjoyed their form gym games and things like that. Certainly when the PlayStation came around, I was very aware of their next games they were going to be making, like Wild 9 and whatnot. So, yeah, so that's my question, guys. Who, What developer were, were you first aware of and... Uh, how, what sort of era where, where you really, really start to pay attention to developers. So, hopefully get to see some comments down below or even a video response. Uh, love to hear what you guys think.